Hey everybody, welcome to my so-called mom life and Gardening with Creations by DX. We're doing a little joint action on this one here. We are going to do another Mythbusters. Do raspberries or berries in general last longer if we take them out of the container and put them in a glass jar? Let's find out. All right, so we went today and bought two things of raspberries, both the identical brand, identical size. I checked them over to make sure that there's no mold or anything wrong with them. They looked great, both of them. Both are the same dates on them. So exact packaging. Now we have this ball jar. As far as the jar size, I don't think it matters as long as it's a glass jar and it has to have a lid on it that can seal. Okay, now the myth is that if you take berries out of the package and put them in the glass jar and then put them in the fridge, it will last up to one to two weeks longer than they would if you left them in the original packaging. Now I know just from experience that my raspberries and strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, all of them tend to get moldy in the center underneath the original layer. Why? Because they're packaged in so tight, all of that juice and the moisture gets in there and they just get moldy. So if this actually is true and this works, we are going to be doing this with everything. So I am going to go ahead and put one of these packages in our bell jar. And we're gonna leave the other package the way it is. And we are going to check on them every couple of days up to about a week and just kind of test and see what they look like. We're gonna put them on the exact same shelf in the fridge so that they have the same moisture content and same temperature. So that way we can really get a good idea. So you can see the, the layer here underneath the original layer, no mold or anything yet. So it's a good test on this one. All right, they're all in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on nice and tight. Put this on. Those are ready to go in the fridge, okay? I'm gonna open these and we're gonna make sure that under the original layer there's no mold as of yet. That's the only way to really make sure, right? So move them around here. You can kind of see the below layer No mold in there. Check the front part too. Okay, no mold there. Everything looks really good underneath the top layer of these. So there's no mold, no growth as of today. Close that back up. We're gonna put both of these in the fridge and then we will check back and let you guys know the results in one week from today. Stay tuned. All right, so it's been one week since we started our experiment of putting our raspberries in a jar versus the plastic container they come in. So now let's take a look and see which one is doing the best. All right, here you have the raspberries that are in plastic. I don't see any mold growth in here quite yet. Move some more around. So these look pretty good actually for being in the fridge for a week. So now let's look at our jar and see if there's a difference. Here's our jar. Little condensation in there it looks like. So just by looking from the outside, I don't see any mold. Looking on the inside, I don't see any mold. Now, on the bottom, 
I don't want them to fall out, but on the bottom, no mold. So both seem to be doing pretty well. I don't see discoloration or anything of that nature. So since they're both doing so well, we will have to put them back in and check back on them in another week. One thing I will say is if by chance this does work, by us, unfortunately, all of our berries come prepackaged, so they're automatically in plastic. However, we are trying to grow our own blueberries and raspberries as well as grapes. So that being said, uh, we would just transport them directly into glass and therefore getting rid of more plastic that's in the environment. So that's always a good thing. We do recycle our plastic. We keep all of our plastic containers so that we can use them when getting our raspberries, blueberries, as well as strawberries from our garden. So at least we're not uh, spreading it into the environment, but if we can get rid of it altogether, even better. So since we need to recheck, I guess I will see you guys in another week and we will take a look and see what's going on. I also started strawberries today in a glass jar. I know those usually only give me a week at best before they start turning color. It's usually discoloration and mushy before the end of the week. So we'll see how those do in a glass jar. Hey guys, welcome back. So if you remember about four weeks ago, we did an experiment between plastic versus glass jar, which would win. We have the results. All right, so as you know, we started out with the exact same raspberries and put one in a glass jar and kept one in the plastic container. Both were set on the top shelf of our fridge and we did not touch them. We checked them every three to five days and they continuously did not have any mold on them. So we had to keep going. So this being our fourth week, finally have a solid winner. Now, glass jar got a lot of condensation in it. So there's a lot of, whew, there's a lot of water in it. However, I will shake them up a little bit for you so that you can see in there there is no mold and none of these have shrunk or gotten discolored, which is the, the step before mold. However, our plastic container, I will say there's still no mold, which is insane to me. However, they are getting mushy little bit of speck on them so they are starting to mold and they're getting discolored and getting to that point where they're going bad. So after four weeks in the fridge, our winner is the glass jar. Now whether or not that is a solid experiment, I'm not sure because like I said in prior years, all of our raspberries tend to go bad within a week to 10 days in the refrigerator. However, we've always put them in the drawer and not on the top shelf. So that being said, I still think the jar won this battle. Uh, however, possibly try if you can only get them in this packaging, maybe try putting them on the top shelf of your fridge and they'll last longer. Thanks so much for uh, stopping by and watching today. If you have not subscribed already, please do so. Hit the notification bell for future content. I promise there's plenty to come. Like this video, comment below if you've tried this experiment and what your results were, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, have a good day.